Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to continue exploring the project templates that are available to you as a Jira administrator. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and if you have any comments about anything I cover in this video, please let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into Jira. In my last video, we talked about the service management, so if you haven't seen that video, please make sure you go and watch that video. I go over some details of, as to what is the uniqueness of a service management template and or product. So go make sure to give that video some love, go drop a like on that video, come back over here, and then let's keep going with work management. Now with work management, I do have a dedicated series just for content creators, but in this video, I just wanted to kind of walk you through the different templates that are available and very similarly give you my two cents as to why you would want to use one over the other. So the first template that I have is the blank projects. I am on a full paid premium version of Atlassian, and I am assuming that because I am on that version, I get to see blank project. Others that don't have the premium might not be able to see this one, and you'll probably just start with project management. Regardless of your view, um, these are all basic templates, and I just wanted to kind of highlight why there's different ones. So let's look at the project management one because that's probably gonna be the most common one. And what Atlassian has done here with respect to Jira work management is they've really streamlined the issue types that are available for you. Like specifically in project management, you're just gonna have tasks and subtasks. It's a parent and a child relationship. You're gonna have a very simple to do in progress and done workflow, which means these are the statuses that your issues can live in. And it's just super simple. It's designed to just get you out of the box, get your thoughts into a to-do project here, and then kind of just have your team execute. So super simple, very, very basic sub uh, issue types. However, if we scroll down to like content management, you'll notice that the issue type changes where we now have an asset because content creators are creating assets. And so you can see that the issue type is different and you can see that the workflow or the statuses are more appropriate to that of a content creator. You're going to draft something, you're going to review that draft, you're going to probably get it approved by your manager or somebody else. And then once everything's checked out, all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, you're going to publish it. And so Jira's workflow, the steps that you can take are altered to be appropriate for whatever it is you're trying to achieve. So let's go look at another one like procurement. And you can see that this is going to be an order because you're going to be procuring products that you're probably going to be buying. And the same thing, the, the workflow is adjusted ever so slightly so that you can have the appropriate statuses that a typical procurement would follow. One thing that I want to point out, like I did in my last service management video, is that regardless of what you pick here, these are just basic templates that Atlassian provides to you as a project administrator or a Jira administrator. You can and have the ability, depending if you, whether you pick team managed or company managed, but specifically if you pick a company managed template and on top of this, you have the ability to basically modify this in whatever way you want. So don't feel that because you go one way, maybe maybe you want a procurement and a lead tracking, and those are just different types, right? You have the lead issue type, and then you have the order issue type, and then you have different statuses. So don't worry about that because with Jira, you have the full customization, as long as you pick company managed, to kind of make this your own and, and mend it or make a hybrid, if you will, of whatever templates you want. My recommendation is try these out, set up some sample projects with some dummy data, just try things out, see how they feel, and see what's appropriate to you, and then make the appropriate modifications for the Jira project to fit with your specific process. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this really quick video. I just wanna give you a run through of the different work management ones. In my next video, we're gonna continue down this path, and we're gonna talk about marketing.